Have you ever wondered if life exists on Mars? To answer that, let's first journey back in time to the ancient Mars. Picture a world not too dissimilar from our own, a world where water flows and river valleys meander across the landscape. This was Mars during the Noachian period, billions of years ago. Back then, Mars was a different place, graced with a climate that could sustain liquid water on its surface. It's not a wild guess, it's a theory backed by compelling evidence. The Mars we see today, with its arid plains and towering volcanoes, was once adorned with ancient river valleys, expansive lake beds, and remnants of past glaciers. These features whisper tales of a wetter, more hospitable Mars, a stark contrast to the inhospitable desert it is today. But what does this mean for life? Well, where there's water, there's a chance for life. Water is the elixir that fuels life as we know it. On Earth, even in the harshest conditions where there's water you'll find life clinging on. So could Mars, with its watery past, have been a cradle for life? It's possible. The conditions during the Noachian period might have been suitable for microorganisms, the simplest forms of life. These hardy life forms can survive in extreme environments and they could have thrived in the ancient Martian waters. However, it's essential to remember that habitability doesn't necessarily equate to life. A planet can have all the right conditions, liquid water, a stable climate, even organic compounds, and still not host life. It's a puzzle that scientists are still trying to solve. While the existence of life during this period remains a speculation, the presence of water makes ancient Mars a potentially habitable environment. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? The idea that our neighboring planet, now a dusty, frozen desert, might once have been home to life. This is the mystery that keeps us reaching for the stars, searching for answers in the vast cosmic arena. Stay with us as we continue our journey to unravel the mysteries of Mars in the next chapter. From ancient Mars we now turn our focus to the ongoing search for life on the Red Planet. Our quest for understanding Mars began in earnest in the 19th century, with the advent of telescopic investigations. These tools of exploration, peering into the vast cosmos, provided us with our first detailed glimpses of Mars. They revealed a barren, rust-colored world etched with intriguing features, towering volcanoes, deep canyons, and what appeared to be dried-up riverbeds and lakes. This sparked a burning question in our minds. Could life, as we know it, have once thrived in these places? As technology advanced, so did our ability to probe deeper into the Martian mystery. We sent ambitious missions, armed with rovers and probes, to scour the Martian landscape. The likes of curiosity, perseverance and opportunity have become our eyes and hands on this distant world. These intrepid explorers, each a marvel of human ingenuity, have been tasked with a monumental goal, to seek signs of ancient life on Mars. Curiosity, for instance, has spent years traversing the rugged terrains of Gale Crater, drilling into rocks and analyzing samples with its onboard laboratory. Its discoveries have been nothing short of revolutionary. It found evidence of an ancient freshwater lake that existed around three and a half billion years ago, a time when life was getting its start on Earth. Perseverance, the latest rover to land on Mars, has a more explicit life-hunting mission. It's currently exploring Jizero Crater, a site believed to have once hosted a lake about the size of Lake Tahoe. Here, it's hunting for biosignatures, subtle signs of ancient life locked within the rocks. And then there's the significant discovery of organic compounds within sedimentary rocks on Mars. Organic compounds, the building blocks of life as we know it, are critical for prebiotic chemistry, the processes that can lead to life. The presence of these compounds doesn't necessarily mean there was life on Mars, but it does suggest that some of the ingredients were present. These missions and discoveries are crucial in our quest to answer the big question. Does life exist on Mars? They've shown us that Mars was once a place with conditions that could have supported life. They've given us tantalizing hints that life, at least microbial life, might have existed there. But the search is far from over. Each new discovery brings with it new questions, new mysteries to solve. The journey to understanding Mars, and potentially finding signs of life there, is a long and winding road. But it's a journey we're committed to, fueled by our insatiable curiosity and our age-old desire to explore the cosmos. So we continue to explore, to probe, to question. We continue to reach out into the vastness of space in the hope that one day, we might finally answer that tantalizing question, are we alone in the universe? For now, the search for life on Mars continues, and with it, our journey into the unknown. Until then, we keep looking, we keep listening, and we keep exploring. After all, we are all explorers at heart, aren't we? Now, 
it's time to delve into the challenges and possibilities of life on Mars. As we venture into the realm of possibilities, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges that life on Mars presents. One of the most significant obstacles is radiation. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a protective magnetic field. This means that the Martian surface is constantly bombarded with ionizing radiation from the sun and cosmic rays from outer space. This radiation can damage cellular structures and genetic material making it extremely difficult for life as we know it to survive on the planet's surface. But let's not lose hope just yet. Life on Earth has shown us that it can thrive in the most extreme conditions. So, could life on Mars have found a way to exist in spite of these challenges? Some scientists believe it's possible and they point to the potential of subsurface habitats. Deep beneath the Martian surface there could be pockets of water shielded from the harsh radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations of the surface. These subsurface lakes or pockets of briny water could provide a refuge for life, much like the deep-sea hydrothermal vents here on Earth. Microorganisms could exist in these subsurface habitats, deriving energy from chemical reactions rather than sunlight. But how can we gather evidence of such life? It's a tough nut to crack, but recent findings give us reason to be optimistic. At Eagle Crater, the landing site of the Opportunity rover, scientists found traces of sulfate salts. On Earth, these salts are often associated with the presence of sulfate-reducing bacteria, which thrive in oxygen-poor environments. These bacteria could be a model for potential life on Mars. They are capable of surviving in shallow water environments, and they utilize sulfate for energy. This means that if similar conditions existed on Mars, these resilient life forms could have found a way to adapt and survive. The discovery at Eagle Crater suggests that Mars was once habitable, and if life did exist, it might have left behind similar traces. Therefore, by studying these sulfate salts and other geological features, we might be able to piece together the puzzle of Martian life. Despite the challenges, the possibilities of life existing in subsurface habitats keep our hopes alive. As we continue to explore and study Mars, each discovery brings us one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? So, buckle up space enthusiasts. The quest for life on Mars is far from over. Each challenge we encounter is a new opportunity for discovery, each possibility a beacon of hope in our cosmic journey. The Red Planet continues to surprise us, its secrets waiting to be unraveled, its mysteries begging to be solved. As we near the end of our cosmic journey, let's ponder over what we have discovered so far. We've journeyed back billions of years to a time when Mars was a watery world, a stark contrast to the dry and dusty planet we know today. The Noachian period, marked by river valleys, lake beds, and evidence of past glaciers, paints a picture of a potentially habitable Mars, where microorganisms may have thrived. Yet, habitability does not always equate to life, and our search for extraterrestrial life is far from over. The tireless efforts of telescopic investigations and the explorations by rovers and probes such as Curiosity, Perseverance and Opportunity, continue to probe the Martian surface and atmosphere. The discovery of organic compounds in sedimentary rocks is a beacon of hope, as these compounds are the building blocks of life. However, the harsh realities of Mars present significant challenges. The lack of a protective magnetic field exposes the planet's surface to harmful ionizing radiation making surface life unlikely, but let's not lose hope. The possibility of life persists in the shielded subsurface habitats, under the planet's icy caps or perhaps in subsurface lakes. And let's not forget the intriguing evidence of sulfate-reducing bacteria at Eagle Crater. This suggests that Mars was once a place where such life forms, adapted to shallow water and sulfate salts, could have existed. While the definitive proof of life on Mars is yet to be found, the search continues making Mars a tantalizing target for astrobiologists. Our understanding of Mars, its past, and its potential for harboring life is continually evolving. Each new discovery brings us a step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? So, let's keep exploring, questioning, and learning. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our interplanetary adventures. Yeah!